Well, counsel, I understand that a few children can be separated if they require special instruction in order to improve their education. But to separate as a group all pupils of Mexican parentage, that can only be done by infringing on the laws of the state of California. These Mexican students are of the Caucasian race. And therefore, they are excluded from those state laws which allow the segregation of Negro, Oriental, and Indian children. Now, I don't blame the Mexican children for this segregation just because a few of them happen to be behind in their schoolwork. On the contrary, that's an argument in their favor. I believe that this separation denies the Mexican children of the daily presence of American children, which itself is so necessary for their learning of English. And I find, therefore, that the Lemon Grove School Board is without the power to establish and maintain a separate school solely for pupils of Mexican heritage. Such an action violates the rights of these students. The school board is therefore ordered to immediately admit the petitioner, Roberto Alvarez, and all 74 Mexican students back into the regular school building, where they are to receive instruction on an equal basis with all other students.